everybody again. Welcome to our Relo Cairo Mentors platform. We are so glad that you are joining us today. Kindly, you are asked to be muted and your camera is switched off just to reduce the background noise. And we want to welcome today's session with Hadir Fikri. Okay, today's session is about uh, uh, motivating learners into your virtual classroom and how to engage them. Okay, Hadir is a Nile TESOL presenter and PD representative at Nile TESOL uh, AUC. She is an EFL teacher, IELTS and business uh, English trainer, English instructor, and English Vision um, academic director. Okay, hello, Hadir, how are you? Can you hear me? Hi, everyone. Hi, Alan. How are you? Yes, uh, can Hi. you hear me? Yeah, nice to meet you today. Well, it's a great pleasure and honor to me. Thank you. Thank you. Most welcome. Thank you. Yes, you can start now. The floor is for you now. Okay. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. Hello, everyone. Welcome to my session. I'm glad to meet you all. And I'm really thankful to you, Anand, for your great... Uh, Nice chance. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, I hope my session will add to your experience, guys, since we are uh, facing some challenges uh, due to coronavirus and pandemic and everything is changing um, rapidly, unexpectedly. So I hope, uh, inshallah, we are going to share some experience, some personal experience out of my uh, long experience and teaching, uh, both in online and on-site classes. Uh, hopefully, we will add something to your day. So, um, are we going to start? Yeah, please. We can't okay. wait. <laughs> yes. <laughs> okay. I, once again, I'm really thankful for your time and attendance. Okay. So, let's start by uh, looking at these pictures, guys. And uh, I want you to tell me honestly, what can you see here? I'm watching your answer through the chat box. So please, in the chat box, tell me what can you see here? Okay, I'm going to raise my voice. Um, is it clear now? It's clear. Great, okay. So what, what can you see here in these pictures, guys? Can you please tell me? People saying heads. Uh -huh, heads. Faceless. Face figure, faceless yes, faceless figure. figures. Yeah. Yes. What else? Men and women. Men and women, sure. Yeah. Hair. <laughs> this is an answer yes. of a lady. Sure. <laughs> okay. No, so then, yeah. So the the point is, tell me honestly, how long can you stand looking at them? How long can you stand looking at them? Is it good thing? Uh, are you watching a good thing now? Is it interesting? Unknown people, yeah, of course, unknown. Featureless, two seconds. Any longer? <laughs> Can't you stand looking at them any longer? Not at all. Nope. Not interesting. That's great. That's great. Okay. I'm telling you my point. So the most important question, how did they make you feel? Looking at them for three to five seconds, as you mentioned, how does it make you feel? How do you feel looking at them? Nothing. Yes. Okay, so they are featureless faces, let's say stone faces, and you can't stand looking at them even for a few seconds. And you know nothing about them, of course. Bored, feeling bored, yeah. Thank you. Well, this point is a message I want to deliver to you as a start of our lecture that being an online instructor makes you... Hi, Hadir. You face a lot. You are going to depend Hadir. mainly on your face. So please don't get coming two hours or one hour or uh, hour. Hadir. Hello. Guys, can you hear me? Uh, I'm Anaim. Can you hear me? Hello? Yes, okay. Yeah, but maybe Hadir has an internet 
connection problem. Hadir, you are muted. Unmute yourself, Hadir. Is it is it back now? Yes. Okay. Yeah, you're well. back now. Very well. Okay. okay. I'm sorry for this. No worries. Okay. So, dear, my message was just don't let your uh, students look at these stone faces for so long. You are going to depend on your face. Uh, I know that it is a pressure on you and uh, it makes you tensioned and stressed to face the camera most of the time, maybe all the, the whole session, but we will learn how to use it as a privilege to our learners. So hopefully um, by the end of this session, you will change your mind about using your face in front of the camera for a long time. So let's start. Yeah, Hadir, just, uh, you know that uh, your shared screen uh, is disconnected. Sure. Oh my God. Yes. I, I didn't know that. Guys, stop your cameras, please. Just to reduce the background noise and the internet distraction. Don't open your cameras, please. Is it okay Share now? Your screen. Uh, it's uploading, yes. Yes, it's clear now. We are all okay. right on the slide of communication skills. That's great. Okay. So basically, since we are talking about um, teaching online, let's know some similarities and differences between online teaching and face-to-face -face classes. So in common, do we have uh, some actual online lecture, lecturers here? Do we have actual um, online teachers? Yes. Come on, guys. Oh, that's yes. great. Oh, See. that's great. We already have uh, some online teachers. Oh, yeah, that's great. Okay. So basically, the common features that we are talking about uh, are what? In both contexts, it's vital to talk about the individual skills of your learners and their needs in a, on a continuous basis. So let's start, about, let's start by talking about communication skills since they are the key skills that need that mostly needed in online classes so can you please ask uh, can you please answer this question what do you think is common between online teaching and face to face um, when we talk about preparation for example what do you think it's common the content do we do we present the content the same way motivation lesson plans Great. I'm glad to see many good answers here. Way of teaching, yeah. Yeah, students' needs, activities, yeah. not the same way, how to engage the students, all content. different. Yes. Well, many maybe the content, answers. maybe the content is the same, but, ha but how to deliver it is different. When it comes to communication, let me tell you something. Okay. When it comes to the atmosphere of the online teaching, the environment itself, I know it is hard to work through the environment without having the um, opportunity of face-to-face -face gestures and body movements and uh, moving around. This makes a difference when it comes to uh, teaching. I know that you can depend on the uh, moving around for you as a teacher, for the learners, if uh, the lesson is talking about or need some uh, activities or um, action-based activities. In online teacher, this is not available. So how can we compensate this? in a way that makes the student feel the intimacy of, uh, and the interaction of the face-to-face -face class. We need to compensate this lack of natural face-to-face -face interaction by growing some kind of empathy and uh, patience. So you can help grow the rapport between you and the student and between the students themselves with each other. Unlike in face-to-face -face teaching, which is familiar to most of you, I hope, in face-to-face -face teaching, you have the choice to use your voice variety and body language uh, to let the students move around, go here and there, which is healthy for your uh, envi environment in the classroom because this gives something we call brain break to your students. It helps the circulation of the blood goes in an appropriate way to the brain, which makes them more focused. And instead of uh, having them seated all the time, sitting, doing nothing, and just waiting for you to start everything and deliver everything. So let's see how can we compensate the students so they can stay motivated and engaged in an online uh, class.
A teacher can do a lot in physical attendance. Yes, yes, uh, this is absolutely true. But uh, since we are uh, having online classes most of the time and um, in the foreseeable future, I think uh, online uh, education will dominate uh, the institutions. So how can we keep up with this? Let's, develop, let's know how to develop some rapport online between you and your students. Okay, hello, is this voice clear? Is my voice, my, my voice clear? Yeah, hello? yeah, it's a clear, yes, yes, we can okay. hear you well. Okay, so let's start by needs analysis. What does it mean? Do you have any idea about what is uh, needs analysis? What is it? Write your thoughts in the chat box, dears. Oh yes, I'm checking the chat box so I can keep up with your answers. Do you know anything about needs analysis? Come on. Maybe they are um, asleep? <laughs> no, they are typing. I'm sure they, they are typing something good. That is great. Analysis of what students need, yes. Great yes. Job. Consider, yes. consider while, me, while having your needs analysis, consider that it might vary according to the age and levels of your students. So you need to understand what age uh, range uh, are you talking about and what level are you considering while anal analyzing their needs? Mm -hmm. Of course. Let me share some points with you that might help. So first, you need to understand their goals. Why simply? Why are they learning English? Is it just to um, satisfy their parents? Are they just hoping to uh, pass the exam and that's all? Uh, do they learn English because they are planning to work abroad, um, complete their studies, getting a grant uh, abroad? Um, do they live abroad or intend to uh, immigrate or something? So understanding their needs and their goals, why do they uh, learn English, will help you plan a fulfilling lesson that makes them feel that they, it's up to their needs. And this is the first point that we need to consider. Next is what? Sense of humor. Oh, I would need this point. <laughs> yes. Of course. Okay, so you need to know their perceptions about their strength and weakness. Let me tell you this. Understanding the strength points in your learners and helping them to put their, uh, their hands on the, point, the strength points, help them to make the best use of it. So they, were, they are going to use the strength points in their uh, characters, in their perception, in a way that is most fruitful and that can help you develop a better lesson. When it comes to their weakness, also, it is very important that you need to understand their weakness and help them how to overcome this weakness. Don't let them get, have the feeling that um, they are weak in something that, so that they are shy and shrinking and lagging behind their counterparts. This is not healthy for the uh, environment. So being a smart teacher would let you uh, have the idea about how to let the students overcome their weakness and change it into a positive way in interacting in the uh, classroom. I can see that. Yeah, have, here, Govinda. Uh, yes, yeah. Govinda is writing that needing, needs analysis helps us to make our teaching more effective exactly. because we address the learner's level and attitude. Exactly. Um, yeah, another opinion? Yeah. Be friendly, friendly not their friends. Uh, so we can exchange the insights, insights. and ideas. Yeah. Precisely. That is really great. Okay, so understanding their strength and weakness also add to their skills in listening and speaking and reading and writing, which are the basic skills when we are talking about uh, when it comes to teaching a language, English language. The common point could be understanding about their enjoys and their dislikes. So can you remember back in time when you were students, what was the most thing that you enjoyed in your English classes? Tell me in the chat box, what did you enjoy most? mostly in your classes. We have Patty, Patty from Philippines, yes. yes. She's, a, she's one of our friends here. Thank you for sharing. Thank you for attending. Yeah. So share with us guys, what was the most thing that you enjoyed during your classrooms? Being a student. So now I, I want you to put yourself in your students' shoes. What did you enjoy the most? Games, yes. Gamified education, of course. Games, activities, songs, that's great. Songs, yes. 
educational games. Puzzles, so, yes. Yes, puzzle. Game-based education is the way that will make the students share the amusement of learning English. It is not just being spoon-fed with the language, how to practice, how to um, imitate and parroting all the time. No, it's how to make them enjoy and avoid the dislikes. Or maybe you can choose some points that they might dislike and teach them how to overcome them or change them into positive things. I'm telling you something uh, out of my own experience. I was interviewed by um, an American principal, school principal, whom I became his assistant for uh, some time in an international school. He told me, he asked me, um, what's your secret, Hadiri? And yeah, how can you deal with young learners, very young learners? Um, I told him, simply make the kid laugh. Nothing can be more yes. effective than having them enjoying what they are learning not just having something to do, but something meaningful and enjoyable to do. Understanding their likes and dislikes gives you, open the door for you to give you the chance to um, deliver the best lesson ever for them. I hope yeah, you agree. Sure. I hope you agree. Agree or disagree? Yeah. Agree or disagree? Agree. In the chat yeah, box, the, uh, guys, <laughs> I need your interaction, guys. Agree or disagree? Agree. Many yeah. agrees here. Yeah. Great. <laughs> yes. yes, great job. So this is great, this is great. Okay, they next. wake up now. <laughs> Great. <laughs> now, now I'm developing the rapport between me and my audience. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So you need to understand also what do they expect? What are their expects from their English lessons? Setting clear goals from the very beginning of the class, um, giving them the chance to know from the very beginning where are they going, what are they doing will help you understand uh, their expects and will help you fulfill their needs as well. Mm -hmm. yes. Do we have instructors here? Uh, basically, I am an English instructor. I have uh, classes for uh, adults. So do we have some instructors here who deal with adults? Come on, dears. If you are working as an instructor, just try, type one in the chat box. Great. Type one. Great. Great. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, that's good. How about, how about yeah, understanding right. the backgrounds of, the, of your students' jobs so you can customize the lesson um, in a way that can make them uh, get the benefit or apply what they learn with you in their job so they can get a promotion or a um, pay rise or maybe they travel abroad one day or get promoted fast. So you, you need to understand their jobs, their studies, if they are still students, their interests and their family backgrounds. This will help you um, personalize the lesson more. Um, I'm telling you another experience. Um, I was teaching in an IG class and I had an Australian kid who lives with his grandmother uh, away from his parents. And I was planning a lesson for the Mother's Day. So, so I thought that it would be hard for him to remember uh, his mother. And of course he misses her so much, it would be hard for him. So what about, I told myself, what about uh, planning um, something in the lesson that shows if the mother is great, how greater is the grandmother? She is the main source of compassion and, and giving and generosity. Uh, and I really applied this in the classroom. My friend Joshua, the student I'm talking about, was really enthusiastic and he, he gave me a big thank you and said, I was really afraid that he might um, get back of the class or, or something that might remind him of his missing mother. But he wrote that, I love my grandmother. She is the best sandwich mm -hmm. maker. Well, yeah, great. Well. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I told him I'm That's invited good. then. <laughs> I want to share. Yeah. That's so right. understanding the family backgrounds of your students is something essential. If you really want to be um, close to them as much as a friend to them. Sure. And here comes, yes, here comes some points I want to share with you about how to develop rapport between you and your uh, students. By the way, I call my students my friends. So if you hear me saying friends, you understand that I mean my students. Okay. So first of all, you need to ask using their names. Personally, I'm telling you that addressing your students by their names makes you closer to them and makes them happy that you remember each one's name and, the, and you, you can be a friend for each one of them. This is a very important point. Number two is be an active listener. Be a good listener. You know, being um, closer to them that they can uh, tell you and speak to you for a long time and chit chat with you, having free conversation. And they are sure that you are a good listener and you consider what they are saying. It's like a magic gate to them between you and them. 
This fill the gap, fill the gap between you and them and give them the feeling that, oh, I love my teacher. He understands me. It's not just um, a teacher-student mm-hmm. relationship. It's how to be close to them so uh, on a personal basis, not just as a teacher and addressing their, um, their um, students. Agree or disagree? I hope you agree. I hope you agree with me. Agree or disagree? Guys, thumbs up if you agree. Thumbs up if you agree. For sure. Good. Mm-hmm. I have one agreement here. Yes. One of these friends is so proud of you. <laughs> Mahmoud, thank you for attending. Mahmoud is my best friend. He is one of my dearest students ever. Yes, I agree. 100% agree. That's great. That's thank great. You, what, more, what more can I ask for? <laughs> thank you. Yeah, okay, that's next, great. next point is to ask questions. You know how to develop critical thinking? How to develop critical thinkers um, in your students is how to ask and answer questions. Improving WH questions in their mind make you read their minds e- even easier. So give them the topic and let, th- let them ask how, when, why. This will develop the way of thinking with them and let you share um, ideas and concepts with them. Guys, I have a question. Did you have lunch before coming to me? Did you have lunch? Yes or no? Why I or think they, they didn't have much time to do so. <laughs> Guys, I have a question. Did you have lunch before yeah. coming to me? Yes. They have. Yes. Oh, great. Oh, great. Everybody had lunch before coming. Thank God. Oh, that's great. Except me. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry for this. <laughs> no, 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 no worries. <laughs> no, I have other girls here. So some people are still hungry. I'm no trying problem. hard to make my session short so it's not a torture. No, no. We are enjoying. Do you, do you understand what happened here, guys? I am showing empathy. Yeah, that's This right. is something you need to do in your classroom, showing empathy, showing mm-hmm. that you have something in common with your uh, friends. You are happy with they are happy. You understand their sadness, their concerns, their worries. This will make you closer and closer to them. Mm-hmm. And I'm so happy that most of you got lunch. <laughs> yes. Just to make sure that you are safe and sound. <laughs> And delivery for those, those who didn't. <laughs> of course. It's on me, guys. <laughs> yes. The next, point, the next point is finding common ground. How about having a chit-chat before or after the lesson about something we all like or uh, most of us like in common? For male teachers, it, mo- it could be like um, football matches, um, sports. So you are, you are having a lovely time with your students uh, st- talking about something that might interest you. So you can exchange ideas and opinions about it. It needs you to understand what do they love, like, dislike, what do they enjoy. So you can talk about something outside uh, the classroom, outside the lesson, but is still common and sharing. So sharing is caring. I hope you do so. Yes, for sure. That's great. The common point, which is really important, uh, especially to me, is to follow the lead. Do you know what does it mean? Um, Do you have any idea what does it mean to follow the lead? While developing the rapport, it's important to follow the lead. It means what? It means... Come on, on, dears. Follow the lead. What does it mean that you as a teacher, you follow the lead? Yes, jokes, music, that's great. Okay, what else? If we are talking about follow the lead, form up, uh, warm up, maybe, could be. Lead up, could be. Icebreakers, it could be. But how about, or why not you um, impose the topic, sorry, uh, you threw the topic in their goal and you just get inspired, the ideas that might help you plan the lesson and how the lesson will go. Every time I go to the classroom with a written preparation, I make up my mind that this written preparation is my plan B. My main focus is on my students and I get inspiration from them, from their ideas. And by them, I let the class go. So why not to follow the lead sometimes? Why not to flip the classroom and let them take the lead? I believe this will be really interesting to them and this will kill the boredom, of course. Listen to the social problems, environment, well, close enough, close enough, that's great. And my last point would be to be genuine. 
nothing will be more boring than having a classroom which is our classroom when, when, when I have nothing new to add. So being genuine, it's not something to fake. Just be yourself. Of course, you understand the individual differences of your students. And of course, you understand that you must be different in something too. The only thing you have to do is to show how different is it. How different thing that they will have in your class that it's not available outside your classroom or if it's allowed to use something that you really inspired from another classroom how can you do it your own way don't be a copy be like no other be different be genuine so your students also will be different and genuine i hope you understand i hope you understand yeah, and i think uh, i think hadir that uh, radwa here is having a question how i make them be engaged this is what we are talking about. If you are creating yes. a good rapport between you and your students, you will, you, they will be engaged naturally. They will be willing to be engaged as well. Willingly engaged, yeah, not forced right. to be engaged because of the commitments or something. Okay, so before we go through the coming point, I want you, um, by showing the, in the chat box, give me your ideas. Um, how many of these points do you actually uh, implement in your classroom? How many of these points? One, two, three points. How many do you actually do in your classrooms? Grade yourselves, dears, out of yeah. seven. So out of seven, on a yes. scale of from one to seven, how many of these do you really uh, apply? Four, great. Four. Not bad, four. Great, 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 great. Huh. Where are the other Maybe champions? Six. six, that's okay. great. I mean, Bassem, yes. Mr. Bassem. Bassem, yes. Great. Um, six. five, frankly. Sarah as well. Five, six. seven. Yeah. We have a hero here, Miss Amira Lutfi, mm -hmm. thank you. Well, the, most of them, oh, how many, how many exactly? Well, that's great. That's, that's great, that is really great. So uh, what ideas or what, which one of these you want to apply or you plan to apply in the coming uh, classroom? Which one of these from one to seven, which mm -hmm. one of these do you want to apply in your coming uh, or in your uh, future classes? Sometimes all are okay, mm -hmm. great. Okay, oh, which of them do you want? Oh, Most of great. Them. <laughs> yep. Follow the lead. Yes, Bassem. yes, exactly. This, this is, Bassem got six out of seven. This is the missing one. Yes. We have great. a winner. <laughs> Kudos to the winner. We have a winner. Yeah. I'm really yeah. happy, guys, that you are following this. Okay. Most of Ready them to are, uh, are going to apply to follow the lead, yes. Sure, sure. This will create yeah. a fireball class. I believe it's a fireball. Yeah. Are, you, uh, are you ready to move, guys, to the next point? Hello. I hope you are being a, being a facilitator. Great. Are you ready to move? Yes, ready. yes, no, yes. no. Ready? Yes. 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 Great. OK. Yes, many yes. OK, so to wrap up, these points will help you to plan and deliver the lesson that can uh, engage and motivate your learners the best way ever. OK, you mentioned, guys, before that you, we have here some online teachers already. Um, can you share some tips for the online teachers or educators? I'm talking about um, the online educators, if you are online teachers already. Can you give some mm -hmm. tips? In short, can you give some tips? In the chat box, guys, share some tips. Give the tone, the be focused. Yep. Okay, what else? The tone, of course. Do you focused. mean the intonation? Great. Short, short lectures, Come on. relevant activities, <laughs> body language. <Yeah>. Yes. <laughs> relevant activities. It doesn't mean us a kid, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> no, 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 it's not yeah. us. Yeah. I hope you enjoy them. <laughs> yeah. Great. Yeah, for sure. Smiling, okay. not the same like physical attendance. Yep. Okay. Timing, time management, of course. Yeah. So here, if we are talking about um, some tips that might interest the new online teachers, if you are planning to be an entrepreneur and online, um, establish your own uh, online uh, business, let's have some tips. Get to know your students, as we mentioned before, do a needs analysis to shorten or fill the gap between you and your learners. It's important, very important, to know about their interests and their backgrounds, uh, why are they learning English and so on, so you can customize the lesson to, fulf to fulfill their needs, uh, however different they are, however varied they are. 
Number two, planning, 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 planning. You might feel that, oh my God, we never stop planning. What's new? Believe me, honestly, I'm telling you that planning uh, and having a plan B or a backup plan when you are teaching online is crucial, even more than on face-to-face -face classes. So you know that um, something might pop up you need to anticipate what are the possible uh, problems that might ha you might have during the Come on, Hadiya. The voice is fading. The class and you need to be prepared how to control them without disturbing or having your sleep. You need to keep them stay tuned with you all the time. So this gives you more confidence and make, and make your students uh, trust you. Yes. Okay. I hope that you are well planned, well prepared every time you enter your classroom, whether it's on site or online classroom. Uh, Anan, am I disconnected? Uh, for, for just a second. Uh, am just I back? Second. Am I back now? Yeah, yeah, you're back. Oh, that's you're, great. Yeah. Okay. Yes. Thank you. Okay. So let's go on. Plan fully, use variety of different materials. Okay, so if we are talking about preparing 100% variable or a variety of different materials for the on-site classroom, believe me, for the online classroom, it will be different. You need to fill every single minute because you are having no chance to move around to give them extracurricular uh, activity, activities uh, like when we do in the face-to-face -face classroom. So to keep them stay dynamic, to keep them still um, tuned with you in the classroom, you need to manage your time very well with the very the space. I'll give you a tip I personally do in my classes. You need to prepare something called the filler, an activity we call it the filler. It means what? It means yeah. an activity that is really important and related to the topic, uh, and it is filling um, some, like for example, four, three, four minutes in your classroom. You can use it in case you have extra time and you have nothing to do, you have everything, so you can use the filler. Otherwise, if you have something regarding the time management issue, you can skip it with no problem in your uh, managed, well-managed plan. So it's very important to have an extra filler activity. In, in case you need it, it's okay. In case you dropped it, nothing will be uh, dropped or missed in your uh, plan. This will help you really a lot. Agree or disagree? Do you agree with the filler? I hope you agree. Yeah. Great. Great. Just, Very well. Just one question before we shift to the fourth point uh, here, Hadir. Okay. From Marwa Az, she was yeah. asking about the uh, uh, um, point two, okay, the previous mm -hmm. one. What mm -hmm. are the most common defects that we should prepare a plan to for? Technical glitches. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, I, I believe we have uh, um, some time for questions and answers. So how about uh, having the questions after the session? I okay. believe, and then we, we have... It. Uh, yes, let's skip it to the end. Yeah, okay, no problem. Okay. The fourth point, if you agree, let's, let's move to the fourth point, which is check that technology works. Okay, since uh, we live in Egypt, and you know in Egypt the technology is really perfect, you need to make sure that... <laughs> Everything works in advance, uh, ahead of time, in case something uh, happened, a glitch happened, uh, some um, electricity cut or power cut, you need to be ready with a plan B. Make sure that you understand that you are delivering the lesson through devices. So you need to make sure that these devi devices work really well before the class starts. You can, um, you can even uh, have... Um, some 10 minutes some 10 minutes preparation with a student one of your students or with, or with a friend um, my good friend Anan have this with me so we made sure that everything is going okay before we go on <laughs> thank you Anan for this so um, hopefully you check you. thank you hopefully you check that uh, your internet is okay the electricity is okay um, your devices the um, earphones everything hopefully the internet will never cut you know in Egypt it's really uh, helpful to depend on the internet. Yeah. <laughs> so having everything checked in advance will help you keep stay in control. Well, and this gives you confidence, executes confidence between you and your students so you can deliver the message really well and fruit, in a fruitful way to your students. 
cursed connection. I'm sorry for that. <laughs> it's out of our hands, guys, but you still have to uh, prepare a plan B. What if the internet uh, cut or something? This is out of our hands, but we need to handle with it. Ready to the coming point? Because it might take some time. Ready? Yes. Yes. Or, yes. Okay. Understand your platform and practice using it. This is really important. Imagine this situation with me, guys. And uh, make sure that uh, this, these techniques are not really customized for English teachers only. Any teacher, any other teacher for other subject can uh, um, implement them in his classroom according to the needs of their subjects. So imagine this situation with me. Um, you, uh, you are a science teacher and you are taking your uh, students to the laboratory. The lab is full, uh, tools and equipments everywhere and you are not familiar with the lab. So the student come, with the, come to you with um, something in his hand and say, Mr. Teacher, what is it? How can we use it? Do you like your answer to be, um, what is it? I'm not mm. sure. Um, let, let's try, let's see. No, I'm, I'm not ready to use it. Uh, put it around, put it away. Is this the impression you wanna give to your students? That you are not aware or familiar with the thing that you want them to use? Is this the impression you wanna get, give to your students? No. A big no. I have a big no here. <laughs> no way. Sure. Yeah. Sure. So the key to avoid this is to get yourself familiar with the platform and the features offered before you even start your lesson. Let's talk about, like, for example, Zoom. We are using the platform of Zoom now. So if you are familiar with all the options that Zoom offers to you, you will draw the attention of your learners through the whole lesson because they are going to say, oh my God, I didn't know this is available. Oh, I didn't know how to do this, how to do that. So it gives some curiosity that, that will fulfill the class with um, a sense of um, achievements and discoveries and uh, how to do this is very important. So guys, to give you the idea about how to use, how, the, how to make the best use of the features, you can simply go through um, the YouTube to watch some tutorial videos, to familiarize yourself with the options that you have and how to uh, customize each feature to use in your planning, in your, um, in your uh, lesson, uh, what the unit needs you to, uh, to use and how can you uh, familiarize yourself with it. So some uh, help pages from the website will help you also to understand how to use it really well and how to familiarize your students too with the tools they are offered in the platform. And uh, regarding this point, I have a surprise. Are you ready? I have planned a surprise, a little surprise with the help of um, my dearest Ms. Anen. Yes, only Thank two, you. yes. Only two, three, yes. Three, yes, three, yes only four? Come on, dears. Oh, uh, <laughs> can't wait, great. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, here is my gift to you. Yeah. You can have like 30 seconds to look carefully to the diagram this is simply the platform we are using currently now. Look at the features around for like 30 seconds. 30 seconds. Okay. So you have the break rooms, the active whiteboard, the video learners, and make sure you understand where to use each one, where to find each one. The video to, of teacher, the camera, the hand up, the microphone. When you are ready to Carry on, please let me know. Go ahead. Go ahead. Okay. Make sure you noticed every single part of this diagram. Ready? I hope you are ready. Are you ready? Please let me know. Please let me know. When you are ready, please let me know. Yep. Yep. Yes. Great. Yes. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. So we have the features on the right and we have the activity on the left with points, uh, what to use, e how to use each of the features that you already uh, have seen before. So in one minute, can we please pick up the tool that can uh, handle the usage of each one? So you have the hands up. Number the one. Number one, give one Come learner on. individual feedback. What can we use? What can we use? Where is the first furniture? Hurry up. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Okay. By, mention, by mentioning yeah. the letter, guys, 
Number one, which one would you, which one of the features would we use to give the learner individual feedback on their vocabulary, for example? Number one. E and Amira mentioned D, E, C, A. Huh? Huh? Just type the letter, guys. Okay. E or A or. Just type the letter, guys. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and here we go. Yeah. Number one would be. Different opinions. E. Well done. Well done for those who mentioned E. Well done. Number two. Yes, great job. What, would, what should we do B. to allow learners to tell you when they want to speak? In face-to-face -face classes, we know, miss me, miss me, miss me. How can we do the same in the <laughs> online class? What can we use? Again. <laughs> a, 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 a. <laughs> I believe yes, that uh, while, while designing this platform, they put in mind that our students want uh, to share, to raise their hands a lot. So yes, it is number yeah, A. We have, we have to raise the hands here in the class. <laughs> number three, to share an article. We want the learners to read an article. How can we share it? The same way I'm sharing my uh, PowerPoint now. What did I, what did I use? Yes, great job. Yep. G, many Gs I like here. you guys. I like you guys. I like you. This is great. Okay. How to put learners into pairs That's to good. do a role play. Guys, make sure they don't gossip. Make sure they don't gossip. Okay. How to put learners to make a role play under your supervision, of course. And you make sure that they are not chit-chatting, gossiping. They are not doing something outside the topic. Huh? Number four is? C. And, it's and it is C. Thank you. <laughs> well done, guys. Number five, yeah. how to ask learners to draw. Now we come to their favorite part. Ask learners to draw a picture, word, about, of a word that you give them. So we, are, we need which feature? We need... Yes, yes, we need D. I'm glad to see many correct answers. Farah, yes, great. Farah answered uh, till seven. <laughs> great. <Yes. laughs> right. Number six, how to ensure that only one learner can speak and be heard. Number six is... Yep. We hope this icon will perfect. be in the real classroom. We, we are perfect, guys. We are perfect. <laughs> And last one, of yeah. course, would be, yeah, yeah, would be, number seven would be, like. which one? Number one is F, kudos to our heroes, yeah, kudos. F, F, F. Thumbs up for you guys, thank you, thank you. Thank you guys, kudos for the winners, thank you so much. Great so job. understanding the platform mm -hmm. is an essential thing before you initiate your lesson. Now we are moving to a very important point, which is you need to make sure that they are, the students are confident with how the class works. Of course, you need to um, establish clear goals and demonstrate the objectives in the very beginning before uh, the class starts. Of course, you need to familiarize uh, them with the activities they are going through during the class. So you, they, are, um, they are having a clear, um, in, a clear sight, where are they going and what are they doing through the class. This will help you a lot uh, to keep their attention through the classroom. Okay, point number seven if, reminds you with what? Point number seven reminds you with, I hope you remember, the stone faces we started by. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yeah. This is my point. Be prepared to use your face a lot and not to be tensioned or stressed by using your face. Yes. Well, using your face can be a privilege if you understand what I mean. Imagine this situation. You are teaching very young learners and you are um, having a class of pronunciation, okay, phonetics or something. So which one is easier? Number A, in face-to-face -face class, and you get closer to each one of your students to show them how to uh, around their lips or uh, flexibly stretch their lips to pronounce the letter. Is it um, relaxing for you? Or in an online classroom, you just get closer to the camera. So everyone see how, uh, how rounded are your lips? How can you pronounce the special um, uh, sound? Which one is easier for you? Of course, number two. Of course, number two, because 
um, in return, you can ask each one of them at the same time to get closer to the camera. So you check their pronunciation and how do they use their lips and their mouth in pronouncing the voice, uh, the sound. So here we are using a privilege of using the camera and using your face in front of the camera instead of feeling the tension and the stress all the time, now you can make the best use of it and even better than in face-to-face -face classes. So you are going to keep the rapport, keep smiling and being friendly to your students, which is the very important thing we seek while teaching online. Agree or disagree? I hope you agree. Yes, it is easier, of course, to approach all of them. Yes, I have to agree and two yes. One agree, many agrees, <laughs> that's great. That's great. Many agrees, yeah. That's great. Okay, now since you agree, I want you to use these emojis now in the chat box. Show me your face expression. Three, two, one, go, go, go. Show these emojis. Use the emojis to give me the face expression that you have right now. Please express um, your yeah express your feeling, guys. Yeah, I want to see your faces in an emoji. Use the emoji right now, and I will count how many smiling faces, how many angry faces. <laughs> Give me your face expression right now using an emoji in the chat box. Back to the chat box. Great, great. Karima, hi. <laughs> That's great. I shared mine. <laughs> yep. Oh, great. I'm so happy. Ayat, most welcome. Well, actually, Ayat is using something I really inspired from Dr. Muhammad Khalil, uh, our greatest tutor ever. Um, how to give um, make a little competition between your students by using the emojis. You can ask your students in the classroom to think of a sentence and express it in the chat box using emojis, not words, not letters. And you, everybody can guess each sentence or each uh, line of emojis refers to what? And you can give kudus and encouragement to the best sentence and let them chat over the, uh, the best one and so on. So this can help you use uh, the technological device or the technological emo emojis are available in the platform to create a very wonderful and interesting uh, classroom. What do you think? I can't find the icon. It's on, on, the, on the bottom on the right. Yes. Yes. So now using the emojis, I am really happy that you can do the same with your students. So you can draw their attention and let them feel the amusement and share the amusement of learning. Not just, Mahitab, hi, thank you. <laughs> Not just using words and letters, um, photos, but, but also using the emojis would help them and uh, create enthusiasm in your classroom. Agree or disagree? I hope you agree. How many do you agree? How many do you agree? How many? How many do you agree? Great, great. Many different, yeah. Oh, that's great. Okay. So let's have some recapitulating tips. Let's uh, go in a nutshell and say how to develop a better rapport in your classroom, online classroom so you can develop a better performance in online sessions. Number one, bring in your personality. Be yourself, just be natural. You know, um, bring your cheerful character in, into the classroom. Help the students feel that there is no distance. We are enjoying uh, listening and hearing, to, uh, hearing you, teacher, despite the distance. We still feel the intimacy of the real classroom. Number two, I want you to get to know your students. This is the best thing you can do because you are a part of their um, future memories. You are a part of their uh, characters. You are building personalities. You are not just delivering lessons. You are a part of their life. So give them a good memory to remember you by. Number three, of course, what? What can we do? Smile. Number three is? Yes, smile. Smiling. Keep smile. A lovely smile on your face will help you. Yes, will help yeah, you get sure. closer to them. Personalize the lesson. Personalize the, the lesson. Bring your personality in and make every student of your learners understand that you are addressing him somehow in your lesson. This will help him 
or her, this will help your student apply what they learn in their daily life because it touches something in their life, in their daily life. Hello? Hello? Yeah, Hello? yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, oh? we can hear you. Okay. And now, guys, you remember when you give me correct answers on the task of um, the features? Do you remember how I gave you kudus and, and gave you encouragement? This is something I want you to do in your classroom. Give encouragement. Give praise. Show them how much you are proud of them and their achievements, even if their achievements are really little or small. But they mean something to them. And you need to give them feel the pride and proud of doing something great and let them go to the mother and say, my God, mother, my teacher was proud of me today. This will still in their mind forever. Number six is chit-chatting, chit-chatting. Who doesn't like to chit-chat and have an open conversation about something really interesting, a hot topic, which is a common interest, uh, a trend nowadays. So having um, like 10 minutes before or after the lesson, Chit-chatting openly with them will make them open your, uh, their hearts to you and share their fears and interests and likes and dislikes with you. This is the core of creating rapport between you and the students. So how many of you understand the importance of this point? How many of you understand that you must have an open conversation between you and the learners? How many of you agree? How many of you agree on this, uh, on the importance of this point? Great, great. Great, great, very important. Yes, yes, that is great. An open heart conversation will be like a magic to develop the rapport between you and them. Number seven is be friendly. Yes, they need a friend to trust, not a teacher to teach. And that's it. Don't make it like um, a student teacher relationship. Make it a friendship relationship. And when you encourage your learners to be closer to you and closer to each other, which is the coming point, number eight, you are creating a one big family and you are a member of this family. And they feel, if every one of them would feel that they have a role to, uh, to do or to perform, to strengthen the bonds between them together, between them each other and between them and you. So you are the one that opens the door and they are the ones who can create and follow the lead by uh, being um, in an intimate classroom or being in an atmosphere that creates uh, strong relationships that will stay even for life. Make them go home to their mother after the lesson, telling the mother that, mom, you will never believe what the teacher did today. Let them go home with a happy story to tell their parents because within this story lies the details of the lesson that you want to de deliver, not for the exam, but for life. And here are some um, useful resources that might, you might um, depend on, you might need in your coming, yeah, we're upcoming share, questions. Sample we're going tools to share the them. Web. Yes, more than welcome. Yeah, we're going to share them via email or uh, via WhatsApp group or a Telegram group, guys. Relo yes. Cairo Mentors platform. You are most welcome, guys, to uh, use um, as many of them as you can to develop uh, better uh, classrooms, better online classrooms. I hope they are um, really helpful. So uh, uh, by raising hands, how many of you do need the tools? By raising hands, how many of you? Nobody needs them. All this raise hands, guys. Only pointing. one. Only one. Yeah. Only one hand. We have, oh we have, no! I we have nearly <laughs> sixty. Many, many. Oh, yeah. Not enough. Not enough. Not enough. This is not enough. I'm greedy. I want all of oh. you to share. All oh. the class. Raise your hands. <laughs> great. Great. Well, now you can yeah. do it. Here we go. And of course, we have something called. Exit tickets. Exit tickets. Which means what? Which means I want you to tell me in the chat box, guys, what did you learn and what will you apply in your classrooms? Okay. So, before we let you go, give me in brief, what did you learn today? 
on what you want to apply. The meaning of rapport. Wow, Rapports. great. The core of the, the session. <laughs> sure. Yeah. How to make rapport, of course. Building rapport is the key. Showing for empathy. Success. Yes. Yeah, showing empathy, smile, smile more. Yeah. The most important tips for online you know teaching. What? You know what, you guys? You need to forget all about your personal problems, family commitments inside the classroom so you can really smile. They, you know, they don't want to share your fears and your problems. It is um, a chance for you even to vent out or forget about your problems and share the amusement of being in front of your friends. You are sitting together, creating rapport together, sharing something you both enjoy together, which is really uh, worthy of developing a uh, good rapport and forgetting about your own personal problems. So. Keep smiling, guys. Stay friendly. Yes, yes that's great. I'm so happy with your answers, guys. You made my day. You really made my day. Yes, building rapport. Important tips. Using great. the emoji. Yes. <laughs> you like the part of the emoji, huh? <laughs> yeah, that's good. If you liked it, it means your students are going to like it. So make sure that that's you true. make the best benefit. I'm telling you something, guys. They are prepared for the age of technology. So how about uh, encouraging them, and I'm, I personally do this, how about encouraging them to make a presentation using something like a video, and you encourage them by uh, promising them to send it on TikTok or post it on TikTok. You know how crazy they are about TikTok. They will not believe it, but you can uh, ask them to prepare some videos about um, a presentation, uh, something they learned in the classroom, and you promise the best one that your colleagues uh, vote for will be posted on YouTube or on TikTok. How about this example? I mean that they will admire you. This is the best rapport that you can build. How about this? How about um, this? Yeah, uh, I just want to clarify something here in the chat box. Radla, you know that our today's session is about uh, creating rapport. It's not about uh, online uh, uh, activities for reading or whatever. You know, it's about creating rapport. The core of the session is about creating rapport. So this can be a subject of another session. Yes, this can be yeah, a subject sure. of another upcoming session. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, uh, we have uh, time for questions. Yes. Yes. Uh, here, Marwa is asking. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I really need to know how to engage them in a role play strategies or in role play strategies. So you need to let them understand the rules uh, before anything. You need to let, to let them set the goals, uh, understand the goals that you set clearly before we, you even initiate the class in an interesting way. Thank you. <laughs> in an interesting way so they can be eager to perform. And if you are uh, willing to perform, uh, willing to let them perform well, you need to understand the characteristics of each one of them so you can give the right rule to the right one. I used to do this in my uh, IG class. So, for example, I have um, a student that is charismatic and can be um, a good um, uh, demonstrating teacher. So, if we are playing a, a rule or a lesson, for example, that has a teacher uh, rule, I uh, assign it to her because I know she can uh, she can do it well. So she will feel confident because she's doing nothing uh, strange for her. She is just expressing her personality. So understanding your students will help you develop um, a better role play for them. Yeah. Yes. Any question. other questions, dear? Closed session. Most welcome. Oh, thank you. <laughs> most thank welcome, you guys. Dear. You made my day. Great. Thank you. Yeah, I just, I just want to add one more thing before we leave. Uh, because, yeah. you know, when we are creating rapport, if you are not um, having the opportunity to switch on the camera, it's enough to put your profile picture to be known. Yeah, okay? why yeah, not? It would be better, yeah, and create a lot, yeah. Yes, as promised, you're going to, uh, I can't, to give us uh, designing online activities. 
yeah, we're we're planning. We are planning to do many things. Don't worry. Sure. Uh, don't sure. worry, Radu. Inshallah. Yeah, just, just, just stay follow. tuned. Yeah, we're yes. yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. Okay. Thank you so much, Hadi. Thank for you. this amazing session Thank actually you. engaging and uh, you encouraged us a lot to do many things thank, thank you, you all our attendees for joining us today and stay tuned for the upcoming sessions and upcoming events inshallah with us follow our page relocate mentors platform invite your friends if you are getting benefits from it and don't miss our youtube channel because everything we record it and upload it upload it there inshallah Okay, thank you so much. Thank you, Hadzia. Thank, thank you. you. I, I just want to get a screenshot, guys, if you allow me. Uh, and then, yeah, stop, um, stop sharing to, to get the whole screen. I want to get a screenshot. Yeah, stop, just, just to stop sharing the screen. Okay, just to stop sharing. Okay. To, to okay. allow the, the, the screen, yeah, that's better. Okay. Yeah. Can you help yes. me having um, a screenshot of all the screens? Yeah, I'm going to do it. Okay. If you want to open cameras, guys, you can open it now. Please. <laughs> <laughs> you can open cameras, guys, now. If you are willing. It's your free yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. If you are willing to share this special moment with us, guys. Hello, Mr. Hello. Khamis. <laughs> Hi. Yeah, nice. I hope nice you enjoyed the session. You today. Mr. Okay. Basim. Yes, that's a great. Hello. Yes. Come on, yes. open your cameras, guys. Let's share this moment Switch together. On. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's Great. nice. Mr. Best, Thank you for your you? time. Yes. Thank you for your time, guys. Okay. Bye. Thank you so much, guys. Make See you sure soon, you... inshallah. And then, and then make sure you get um, I got a, it, clear, yes. a clear one. Don't worry. Do I look great? Do I look great? <laughs> Perfect one. How much? <laughs> yes. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, I guys. I hope to see you all again. Bye -bye. Thank you, guys, for your time. Thank you, Anen. Thank you. Inshallah, we're going together again. Yeah. Okay. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Bye.